Hey guys, it's Andrew from Uplink. Thanks for tuning in to part one of our video series, How to Turn Your Dumb Home into a Smart One. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the network, and I'm gonna show you how to take your speed from this over here to this speed over here. Okay guys, so there's a few stages for this project uh, that you're gonna have to kind of get in order and plan ahead of time. You're gonna have to make sure that you put your Rogers modem in the basement. That's step one. Okay, it's gotta be by your electrical panel and near all the bell cables. Okay, now step two is we need to identify the cables and find out where they go. So just look for that little uh, phone jack. You'll have them throughout the house. I've got one on my main floor I'm gonna use and one in my office. So figure out which those ones are. And then you need to identify these wires, either with a toner, that's what I've used. And um, that, that helps uh, me, me figure out which wire is which. So you have to identify your cables. And then step three is you have to convert all this over from a phone system to an ethernet system. So I've replaced the ends here with ethernet cables. Where the phone jacks were, I've replaced them with Cat6 keystones. And then I've got my network switch here that's gonna hook everything up. And I have my mesh access points that are gonna plug into that. So those are really the three stages of everything that we're gonna do. All right, so unfortunately, you are not gonna be the only tool that you need in order to do this. Uh, you're gonna need a few things, we're gonna talk about it. So uh, you're gonna need some ethernet cables, just some short ones. I mean, this guy's about, what's that? Maybe five feet. So uh, you're gonna want some of these. I would say have a mixed bag of a few, like three footers, five footers, one footers. You're gonna want a multi-bit screwdriver. This one's really great from Milwaukee because it has like all the different sizes. Sometimes the wall plates are a Phillips or they're a flathead. Uh, and then the cool thing about them is that they also just pull out and they can connect right into my drill. So you want a drill as well. And uh, one that can work with the multi-bit is helpful. And then in order to put the ends on the cable, you're gonna want a Cat6 crimper. Okay, so this is an important tool that you're gonna to wanna to have. In order to do the keystones, you're gonna need this guy here. It's called a punch down tool. This punches the wiring down into the keystone. You're gonna need uh, some ethernet joiners. Okay, that's just got like an in and an out on it. You can, uh, you can see there. And then you want some ethernet connectors. Okay, these ones are cool because they actually have like a pass through when you when you put them uh, on the crimp tool, a really, really nice uh, pass through, it helps a lot. And then this is the keystone itself. And they come in a bunch of different colors. You can get black or white or blue, like depending on the kind of look you want to have. And then this is a uh, wall plate. It's a single port wall plate. You can kind of see what the back looks like there front still in the bag, but um, yeah, that's gonna go over the wall plate where the phone jack was, and with the keystone inside of it, it's gonna give you a nice clean look for an ethernet cable to plug into. And you're gonna need your dignity as well, because this is a bit confusing, it can be humbling at times, and uh, you're gonna need some extra of that, for sure. All right guys, so we're down here in the utility room in the basement of the new home. This is what uh, my technicians Dave and Keaton installed. So it's just an 8U rack unit. Uh, this is the Rogers modem here. And then we have um, our first Eero device right there, plugged into the Rogers modem. And, uh, and then what we've done is we've just repurposed these cables here that were used for the phone system in the home. And then we've put ethernet ends on them and then uh, extended them over and, and uh, they're plugged in here. And what those are doing is they're giving us a, a wired uh, connection to the Eros that we're gonna put on the main floor and on the second floor. So uh, the closer you are to your modem, the faster your speed is gonna be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a speed test down here. So, and I also like I'm, I'm getting a 500 meg connection from Rogers. And as you can see here, I'm getting around 475 for my speed. So that's really good because I'm right beside the modem. So that's, that's where I'm gonna get a great connection. Okay, so we've moved up to the main floor and I'm just in the kind of kitchen dining area. 
I'm gonna do a speed test here. So I'm one floor away and maybe about 12 feet over from the modem. And you can already see the drops. I'm only getting about 180, 190. So I've lost, uh, you know, more than half of my speed already just by moving like 12 feet, 15 feet away from the motor. So let's go upstairs and we'll do a connection there and we'll see that it's gonna get even worse. So now we're upstairs on the second floor in my office and we're gonna test the connection here. It says I have about four bars. Yeah, so not too bad. Like I'm getting about, I'm getting about 120, 130. It's climbing up a little bit. But still we lost it. We lost about 30 megabits per second. Okay, so I'm gonna do a speed test on the laptop. Now keep in mind, my laptop says that it has five bars, 30, just below 30 on the laptop. Phone has a newer uh, Wi-Fi chip in it, so it's gonna get a little bit faster speed than the laptop. But, uh, you know, I'm getting about 29 meg down and about eight to eight and a half up. Probably, you know, not able to do a lot on this computer at the same time. Two speeds are too slow. So we're here in the main floor and this is the wire that is sticking out of the wall that used to be used for a phone jack. Um, the same blue cable that goes down in the basement. Uh, one indication that that's your wire, right? So I've got my keystone here. I've punched down all the wires. I don't, uh, I don't have that part on video, but uh, that's basically what it's going to look like. And there's a specific pattern you have to follow. You can see it's like orange striped orange, green uh, striped green green, and uh, and that's that's really important. You got to make sure that you line that up. I'm then going to just uh, plug this plate down. This this helps to secure the the wire so they don't pop out. And this step is really going to be repeated on the second floor as well. So what I do here, I'm, I'm doing at the other spot also. This is my plate, okay? The keystone just clips into here like this, okay? And it looks nice and flush like that. And then you can your Ethernet cable is able to plug in like that. So there's kind of what that ends up looking like. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put this wire back in the wall, put my plate there. This is where your drill comes in handy. I'm gonna just screw this back into the wall. So there you go. So this step I'll repeat upstairs on the second floor. This Euro is now wired directly to the modem via the switch. And I'm gonna get that same 470 speed right here in my, lit, in my great room, in my house, sorry. Uh, that I did when I was downstairs by the motor. Okay, so I have the Eero app installed. I've already run through the setup of the first two Eeros, but I'm gonna just show you how to do it on the last one here in the office. I got my keystone plate done, and this Eero is ready to go, ready so, to go. so I'm just gonna hit the plus button, and it says uh, add or replace Eero devices. I'm gonna say add Eero device. It's telling me to plug it in. I'm gonna allow. So it says it's found in Euro 6, which is this guy here. Flat, with the flashing blue light, that means it's in like searching mode, pairing mode. And um, we'll just run it through the setup here. Okay, so it's found it. So I'm gonna say that it's in my office. When you're setting up smart home devices, it's really important that you're clear on the location that the device is in because that can have an effect on how any routines or things go because my smart home knows what devices are in my office. Uh, so finish setup, it needs to update. So I'll install that now. And yeah, pretty well all set. So yeah, there I've got it now added as my third Eero in the office. And I'm probably gonna have amazing Wi-Fi up here now. So as soon as this is done, I am going to run a speed test. Look at that. We're already three, 400. We're already over 400. What were we getting before? It was like 70, I think. Yeah. So we've gone from 70 to 427. And then 
why I said ooh, why I said that this is important to have two Ethernet ports on the back is because one of these is coming from the switch in the basement, and then this one here is actually going to go right to my laptop. So it is a retrofit. We didn't have like a great job. Uh, but we just ran the cable along the floor here along the baseboard. I'll probably clean that up later But let's uh, I've got it up here And it's run into my laptop. So let's just plug this directly in And then I'm gonna do a speed test on the laptop. Okay, we're over 200 We're over 300 we 390 so That's really good this is an older laptop, so it's it's not like crazy fast. Uh, the LAN card, I don't think is the newest LAN card, but still a massive improvement over what we had. So yeah, that's it. So we've got our mesh network set up now. There's, uh, there's a good foundation for a smart home to be built on it. So stay tuned for the next video where we're gonna start talking about smart home security. We're gonna do some doorbells, we're gonna do smart locks, and we're gonna put some cameras and alarm system in the home. So. Uh, stay tuned for that and we'll, we'll do that one next.